Hi, James. Have you started using a new perfume? Um, no. Why are you asking that? Oh, I could smell a lady's perfume on your jacket last night. What is that supposed to mean? Do you think I'm cheating on you? Well, of course not. I know you're such a good husband. I know you're planning a surprise for me. But I think you're going overboard. You're just spending too much money on my surprise. You know I am not into expensive gifts and lavish tours. All I need is you and your love. I know, babe. And I love you. We'll be home tonight. I'm just curious about that surprise you're planning for me. Wait, what surprise are you talking about? Oh, I received a message from the bank that you withdrew $50,000 from our joint savings account. I know you won't spend that kind of money on yourself. You must be getting something for me. Who else would you spend that much of our money on? Oh, that? No, babes. Sorry, that wasn't for you. What? Then where did that money go? Is that some kind of joke? Is the bank involved in defrauding us? I think I need to call my father right away and report that lowlife director of Bank X. No, no, baby. You don't have to. It is me who took the money. Oh, baby. Are you in trouble? Has something happened to you? Are you injured or hospitalized? No. Well, actually, yes. My company was bankrupt and I needed money to keep it afloat. Oh, baby. Is that so? Because I got to know the money was credited to Seahorse Holdings Private Limited. As far as I know, it's a luxury cruise company. We don't have business in the domain, or do we? Uh, oh yeah, we owe them big time. Actually, I've recently launched a new department that provides exquisite wines and portable dance clubs on luxury cruises. That sounds exciting. But I don't remember you discussing it with me or Dad like you always do. I know I'm not active in the company, but still, I have sound financial knowledge. Besides, this is my dad's company, and I am the legal heir. I know, and I'm proud of your business acumen. I just wanted to test my caliber and see how far I can reach in the business world. If you would have discussed it with me, I might be better able to guide you and prevent this bankruptcy. You're right, sweetheart. I will never do it again. Can you please forgive your husband this time? Pretty please. You know you can get yourself in legal trouble if someone comes to know you've started it without my or my father's approval. But you're my husband. I won't let you get into any problem. I know, my love. But I wanted to surprise you and make you proud. Ah, so sweet. I knew it from the beginning. Well, what do you mean? That's a surprise from my side. Are you ready? Always ready. Anything for my love. Hello, love. I'm missing you. Can we meet tonight? Hey, hon. Where have you been? You texted me after five hours. Don't you love me anymore? Don't say that. My stupid wife is on my tail all the time. I had to take her out for some shopping, so I couldn't message you earlier. It's alright, but why don't you divorce her? I wish I could. But she's my ATM. My bank. You know all I care about is her money. Yes, but I don't like to share you with her. Or anyone, per se. I know. I can't be with her any longer, too. But give me a few months. I will become the sole owner of this company. And after that, I will divorce that stupid wife of mine. Hmm. You know I'm doing this for us. I want us to lead a happy and comfortable life together. I know, I know. But can't wait any longer to be with you. I know I am dying inside too, but guess what? What? Are you coming over tonight? Nah, I have something much bigger and more exciting. Well, are you planning to spend your weekend with me at one of our favorite hotels? No, my love. I'm taking you on a holiday getaway. Where? To the Bahamas? But where will you get the money from? I know business isn't doing too well these days. On a luxury cruise. That dear wife of mine and I have been saving money for a seven-day trip to Europe. But who would go with her? I would rather spend the entire week locked in the bathroom. I've got a better idea. Let's go on the luxury cruise by Seahorse. We can have a once-in-a-lifetime experience. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait for it. Just a couple of months, and we will be in the Pacific, rekindling our love. XOXO. By the time we're back, my lawyers will have transferred this company under my name, and I can easily divorce that sorry wife of mine. Yeah, and she wouldn't even know anything about us. I wonder how someone can be so naive to hand over their business in a stranger's hand. Well, I'm not a stranger. I am her husband. Yeah, yeah, no need to rub it in my face. Huh, <laughs> I was just teasing you. You're my only love. Hey, honey. I got two tickets for the seahorse cruise from your pocket, but who is Mark? Ugh, that was supposed to be a surprise. I'm sorry for spoiling it. Hmm. I wanted to take you on the cruise and show you how well our business is doing. Besides, we've not gone on a honeymoon yet, and it's almost two months to our marriage. You remembered. I thought I didn't matter to you anymore. I thought Dad was right and you were only after my money. How can you say that? You're the most important person in my life. I'm sorry for doubting you. I know you love me and you won't ever wrong me. It is just that people are always gossiping that you rarely come home because you love someone else. No worries, my dear wifey. I know people are jealous of us. They all want our money. I met Emily today and she said you are gay. So it's just all the wrong ideas came into my mind. I'm sorry, I love you. Your friend, Emily, can never see you happy. She's gone sour after her divorce, and that's why she says all this about me. If I were gay, why would I marry you? I know, right? I love you, and as long as you believe me, it doesn't matter what other people say. I love you, James, and I can't imagine my life without you. I'm sorry. Now I won't listen to what others say about you. I trust you blindly. All right now, since the surprise is no longer a surprise, why don't you pack my bags? What, James? But I said I'm sorry. Why are you leaving me now? Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm asking you to pack my bags for the cruise. Oh, are you going alone? Aren't you taking me with you? My love, why would I not take you with me? Besides, what will I do alone on the cruise? I'm asking you to pack my bags only because I have ordered your holiday wear from the designer, Jenna. Are you serious? Jenna is expensive. You didn't need to do this. Babes, our business is doing well, and I'm earning it all for you. So why shouldn't I spend it on you? And you keep spoiling my surprises by asking so many questions. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't ask anything anymore. Oh, but this reminds me, you were supposed to return my loan last week. The money you used to pay your debt. Yeah, I remember, but I have donated that amount to a charity under your name. Now you've become the trustee and board member of Welfare Y. Documentation is in process. They'll send it to me in a couple of days. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Of course. I'm sorry I forgot to mention it earlier. Thank you, my dear husband. Hello, Sarah? Where are you? Why is my bag lying outside? And why is the house locked? I'm even unable to enter the passcode. Wasn't it 240123, our wedding date? Sarah, where are you? I'm worried sick. Are you okay? Sarah, are you out of your mind? The neighbor just told me you went this morning with all your luggage. What kind of a sick joke is this? And why have you locked me out of my own house? Why are my things on the porch? Pick up the damn phone! Oh, hi. Sorry, but not sorry. I was enjoying my beauty sleep. I'm at Dad's place. Weren't we going on a cruise tonight? You asked me to pack your stuff. Yeah, but why have you put it outside? And why are you at your Dad's place? The home is locked. I want to go in and change. I put it outside so you don't have to look for it. I intentionally locked the home and changed the password. You won't be able to get in. Uh, why? I thought you would steal my jewelry, so I locked the house. To play it safe, you know? What rubbish is this? You stay where you are. I'm coming. No need. There has been a slight change in the plan. Now what? 
Why do you have to be so spontaneous? I thought you loved that about me. Besides, I married you on the spur of the moment. You always said that's the best thing that ever happened to you. Are you regretting it now? That's not what I meant. I still love that unpredictability about you, but where are you? I want to see you. It's been a long day. I want to see your pretty face. And what change of plan are you talking about? Oh, yeah, that. It's Dad and I who are going on a cruise, and we left for the harbor already. That is why I was telling you not to come. You won't find us there. Wait, what? It was supposed to be our honeymoon. And if I'm not going, then why is my bag outside? And why have you locked the home? Are you out of your mind? My, 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 someone's angry today. Well, it was supposed to be our honeymoon, but you know what? I read you and your lover boys chat last month. Remember when I asked you about the money? Had you been honest with me at that time? I would have forgiven you, but now it's too late. What bullshit are you talking about? There is no lover boy of mine. Have you met Emily again? I swear I will kill her. Surprisingly, it's Mark that I met at the Mart this morning. Well, I should say you've got great taste, cause he's a handsome hunk. Got a body to die for, isn't that right? What are you talking about? I don't know any Mark. Stop being delusional. Sarah, tell me where you are and I'll be right there. We should talk this out. I think you're having some kind of nervous breakdown. I love you, baby, and only you. Stop it, James. It's making me cringe. You are two-timing me, and that too, with a man. This is why you were out most of the nights and had a separate bedroom for yourself. Sarah, you're going to regret this. Okay, it's true I love Mark, and I want to be with him. I was just with you for this bloody company. I always thought you were working hard to take our company to new heights. But all you were doing was making out with some jerk blondie named Mark. I'll never forgive you for this. And since this is my father's hard-earned money, he and I deserve to be on this cruise. You can rot in hell with your Mark. Goodbye, and don't message me again. Good that you've left on your own accord. I was feeling bad divorcing you. But I have a little surprise for you. You know how much I love surprising you. I know. Waiting for your last surprise. I've robbed you and your father of this company. <laughs> All your father's hard work is gone, and you'll be living penniless once you're back. You're so merciless. Everyone was right. You always wanted my money. I would suggest you sell your cruise ticket on the black market and make some money. If you want, I can connect you with some people. You know I've got contacts. You will need this money in the future. It will cover you for a few days. You're so despicable. <laughs> Ball is in your court. I'm willing to give you some favors as a courtesy call. You know, it's because of you that I'm an owner of a company. You wish. You still think I wouldn't have known of it earlier? Sorry to burst your bubble. I knew it all along, and that is why I contacted Uncle Darren. Who is Uncle Darren? One of your father's pets? No one can do anything now because the company is legally mine. You know what I came to know? You are a fraud, and I'm not the only girl you've done this to. Sarah, you're such a fool. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. Well, this time, you've made a fool out of yourself. Uncle Darren is the Attorney General of Rachel, your ex-wife. Who is Rachel? First it was Mark, and now Rachel? Stop throwing dirt on me. Don't you remember, Rachel? She named her villa after you, and gave her hotel in Town B. All for your love. Poor soul could never see your true face. How did you get to know her? Do you know she committed suicide after that? Don't you feel a little remorse or some kind of shame? I hate myself for choosing you as my life partner. Don't do this. You've loved me once. Don't you dare message me anymore. I will make your life a living hell. Besides, I have reported you to the authorities for cheating and fraud. You will soon be speaking to my lawyer. Uncle Darren is investigating you, and I'm sure he'll be able to dig more dirt on you. I pray and will make sure you serve for good in jail. I was your husband. Was, huh? You're so eager to end a relationship. So why should I think about you? 
Rachel was also your wife once, and I don't want to end like her. You know nothing about Rachel, and have no idea how my life was with her. She was crazy. I want to live a happy life and enjoy all the love that I deserve, while you can still dream of being with Mark. I was being nice to you all this while, but I don't think you deserve it. No one can do anything to me. You should know I am James, and I can always find my way out, like a weasel rat. Ciao. I will not waste my time arguing with you anymore. I have better things to focus on. Like what? Digging my past? <laughs> like rebuilding my life and ensuring justice is served. And don't worry, I won't let you get away this time. You think your money can help you this time. But pretty wife of mine, I have robbed you of everything, and you're not left with a single penny. James, your arrogance knows no bounds. But let me remind you, karma has a way of catching up with people like you. This is what people like you say. You may think you can manipulate and deceive everyone, but eventually, the truth will prevail. From now on, I will trust the legal system, and let Uncle Darren handle the investigation. Do you think you can bring me down? You're underestimating my power and influence. I have connections that protect me from any accusations you throw my way. You're just a naive fool. We'll see about that, James. I won't back down until justice is served. Your connections won't save you when the evidence is stacked against you. And I have faith in Uncle Darren's ability to bring the truth to light. You're delusional if you think you can move on so easily. I'll make sure you regret crossing paths with me. No, James. It's you who is delusional. You think power and money can shield you from the consequences of your actions, but they can't. Besides, I will make sure I take everything that belongs to me and my dad. You've got nothing left. You're what I was a year back. You may have taken advantage of my trust and love, but I refuse to let your actions define my future. I will rebuild, I will heal, and I will find true happiness without you. We'll see about that, Sarah. This is far from over. Just remember, I won't go down without a fight. I don't doubt your determination, James. But remember this. The truth has a way of revealing itself, and justice will prevail. You may try to fight, but you will sow what you reap in the end. The world isn't a place for people like you. <laughs> Goodbye, James. I hope one day you realize the gravity of your mistakes and seek to change for the better. We'll see who has the last laugh, Sarah. This isn't the end. It's just the beginning of a battle you won't win. Time will tell, James. But mark my words. I will come out of this stronger than ever. And you will regret the day you ever cross paths with me. James ended up serving 10 years in jail. By that time, Mark was long gone, partying and boozing with his new Italian boyfriend, Valentino. James was on the road for a couple of months and had no place to call home. Later, he started waiting tables at a local pub, where he got into fights with drunkards daily. Soon, he was kicked out and had to leave the city, and now I don't know where he is. As for me, I'm living the life of my dreams. I have become stronger and more confident after my divorce. Credit goes to my father and husband. They made me believe in myself and humanity, and now I work at a charity to provide shelter to women. My husband loves me to the moon and back, and we've got twins, Nancy and Derek. We're in the Bahamas, and father visits us yearly at Christmas. My husband is a lawyer and has his own firm. They work for global women's rights and try to get justice for those cheated and duped by their husbands, family, or friends. I'm very, very happy, and I hope Nancy doesn't ever meet a guy like James. I try to teach my young Derek to respect and pamper women as they are God's beautiful creations.